Um, my name is Linda Rosa. I was currently incarcerated in Rikers Island and Bedford Hills. I was in the nursery on Rikers and also on Bedford Hills. I got incarcerated in 2008 for assault in the first degree. Um, when I got incarcerated, I found out I was pregnant with twins. And um, they were offering me 10 years. Um, I didn't know if I was able to apply for the nursery because when you have violent crimes, you're not able to apply for nurseries. But, you know, with the help of our children and Elaine Lord, they helped me get into both nurseries. Um, my doctor's visits, they used to shackle my hands and my legs, and I would have to walk with the shackles on my legs, and they would leave cuts in the back of my ankles. Um, and when it was time to give birth, I had to get a C-section due to the fact I had high blood pressure, so I had to get an emergency C-section. As, as soon as the surgery was over and I was getting morphine to help stop the pain, um, they, shack they shackled my leg and um, I wasn't able to see my babies until um, like a day. And then when I would have to go visit them with stitches, staples, everything, I had to walk with shackles, with an orange jumpsuit, shackled. Everywhere I had to go, I had to wear shackles. Um, when it was time for me to go back, after I healed, I had to leave my babies. And um, they were in the NICU. I had to leave them because in the nursery on Rikers, you can't bring them until like three days because they have to do paperwork. So um, that day was very emotional for me, watching my babies leave. And I'm leaving in handcuffs and shackles. And I couldn't be with my babies. And, um, oh, I don't want to cry. And I had to wait three days. But thank God I got admitted to the nursery and I went to go get my babies. And after a while, I got sentenced. Thank God they dropped my charges down to a second degree. And they gave me two and a half years. So I was able to finish my time. And there was a possibility that I could finish my time on Bedford with my children. So I applied to go to the nursery in Bedford Hills. And they denied me. So my kids were 10 months. And when they're 12 months, you're supposed to send them home. So I had two months to reapply and see if they will accept me. So, again, with the help of Elaine Lord and our children, everybody writing letters for me, stating that I was a good mother and I shouldn't be separated from my children, um, I got into the nursery in Bedford Hills. Um, Bedford Hills, um, the nursery was good, you know. It's just, you go through a lot with the other women there because everybody's stressed out. Everybody, you're in prison with your baby. So, it was just a lot going on at the time. But, you know, you had a lot of help and everything. So, I finished my two and a half year sentence in Bedford Hills. Your babies are allowed to go home within the 18 months. You only get the six months extra if you're going home within those six months. So, I just reached my mark with the six months. So I was willing to go home with my babies and I went home with them and now I'm in our children and I'm trying to do the best I can to be a better mother and to get a stable job and to have stable housing. So that's about it for me.